All right, so there's the replacement floor. So right there's where I cut out the whole floor. It's a bit discolored, but that is 100% solid right there. Um, so you can see that's silicone. So I silicone the seam yesterday, uh, or day before yesterday, and now I foamed. Um, the whole thing. There's that corner I was talking about. And then you can see I foamed the entire door. Um, so that is sealed. We don't gotta worry about any water leaking. Um, there's a, a bead of silicone across the top here. Um, this, uh, there's no way for water to get in. <laughs> so we're good. Um, but yeah, it's totally sealed. And now I'm gonna real quick cut um, all this stuff to shape so it doesn't look all ugly. Well, there's the foam uh, cut out. You know, not too nice and neat. Um, I think I'm gonna build along all these seams. I'm probably gonna run a one by two and make it look nice and pretty. Do some self-tapping screws and pretty much hide these seams. That'll seal it tight. Um, before I put the wood on, I'll put silicone underneath the wood probably, or just some foam. I'm not sure how I'll do it, but basically I want to seal these seams and just reinforce them with that wood. Um, but yeah, that's what it looks like after I cut it down. Um, I'll clean it up uh, a little bit more, maybe a little bit of light sanding just to even it out. But yeah. All right, so we started putting the new canvas up. Uh, it's not taunt yet because we don't have the rest of it up, but that is the new dinette canvas. Same color as the old one. Um, yeah, went in pretty nice. So now we're just gonna do the end caps and we'll be done. Um, got these ones in as well. So, yeah, here we go. So this is how I'm going to end up filling all these seams, running this ABS across it, and then drilling it, and then I'm going to run silicone across the top to seal it in. All right, so finished the seams. So you can tell I took that ABS uh, material, it's that uh, PVC, and I put it over all the seams here. Um, see, I, I'm going to do a little piece here. But basically, I put it over the seams, so I tapped in here, tapped in here, that will ensure no water gets in here because I'm going to run a bead of silicone across the top 
in this seam along the edges here, along the top of that one, in between, and on the backside, just seal it all in. And that keeps this panel that was coming off, it keeps this panel from coming off. Originally, the owner before me had a white duct tape holding it on. So I think th this would be, uh, it's going to work a little bit better. It's going to ensure it actually stays on. But I think it actually looks a lot better than just having the duct tape on there. All right, so the new canvas is in, and we got a few other things done today. So, start off, here's the canvas. Um, so, this really nice material, and then the top has like a coating, like a rubber coating. So that will shed water pretty nicely. Um, it's not as taut as I thought it would be, but over time it will get tighter. And there's a few things we can do to tighten it up. On the underside, um, see there, that's how they hook in and hold on to the underside. You got those little bungee cords there. And then there's a sport beams. Um, so obviously we got to finish cleaning the sides and everything, but there's a new canvas. Um, so here is the final product uh, of the seams. Uh, so you remember in my other video, there's a seam that runs here, a uh, seam that runs across there, and a seam that runs up and down. Uh, they were coming apart, and the silicone, the after uh, or the factory silicone wasn't able, I wasn't able to get it off. So instead of trying to peel it off and then potentially breaking all this plastic in places, uh, what I did is I just silicone the seams and then after the silicone dried, I put this ABS PV, uh, PVC uh, trim over the top of it, self tap screws, and then I ran bead silicone around all the seams. It's, I mean, it's not, Pretty pretty, but it looks a lot better than it did. And then the seam, the seam around this, I'm gonna end up trimming uh, out the door as well. And then uh, that'll look better. So real quick, I'll show you guys the other side, uh, how that came out. So that's that one. Um, this is the one that was really falling apart. Like that, that side was held up with duct tape. Same with this side and the same across the bottom here. So now it is 100% secure. Um, <laughs> it looks like this doesn't work, but it actually has enough clearance that it sits over and it still latches. So that worked out really nice. Um, obviously, like we'll go in, we'll detail clean everything like that. Um, so here's the canvas. This is the dinette pop out. Uh, so right here, it, right here, it's just a Velcro down. And then in here, they actually run into the, uh, into those rails that you've seen earlier in the video. Um, this one, it runs into the rail, but there's this overlap and the aftermarket, this is the aftermarket canvas has this, uh, Velcro here. So we'll, what we'll do is we'll run a strip of Velcro velcro right here along the entire base of it like that and that'll seal up that side um i'll take you inside here there's the table so we're gonna paint the table black and then uh just uh clean it up and everything uh here is the door you remember it had that uh that yellow linoleum or laminate flooring pulled it up uh, so this is rust and then this right here is the old glue I'm gonna take an orbital sander after I sweep everything out and everything and I'm gonna sand it down I'm gonna get all this off um, and then I have new laminate flooring that's gonna sit in there I'm not gonna try and get it to go underneath uh, this groove here I'm just gonna butt it up and then I'll run silicone across the top clear silicone um so here's the actual door door and back up get a better view of it so it's a full-size door um just a slight little bit of damage there uh, but it's not bad 
And then the cool thing about the door, you have the option that um, slides down and then you have this screen right here. So it's a screen door. So here's the inside with the new canvas. Um, here's uh, this goes across and that goes against the cross member there that pushes it, keeps it taut. Um, probably gonna modify, add another hole or two so it pushes out just a little bit harder. Um, cool thing about this canvas, you have the screen on this side and then you have the tinted vinyl window, it rolls up. Now, this one here doesn't have a tinted, it's just a canvas and then a screen. And that's the same for the whole living area. So those, they just fold down and then you have a screen. But the cool thing about the dinette is right now, I have the canvas rolled down, but I also have a vinyl, that tinted vinyl. And then that will unzip and then you have the screen. So you have two layers of protection here. Um, this is just a normal uh, one that just has a screen for the sides. That's what the flooring is gonna look like. Uh, wife just threw down the flooring. So that's the flooring we're gonna put in it, tongue and groove. And then we're gonna have, that rug's gonna be somewhere located on the floor here. Um, cleaned up everything. Um, yeah. And that's gonna be the flooring that goes in the bottom there. So you can see it's a little wider than, um, than one of them. I'll just have to figure out if I wanna put two and end up cutting cutting them off and then have two across or leave it one solid and then do four cuts one here one here one here for the four pieces I'll figure that out later but that's the flooring it looks pretty good it's gonna look awesome once it's actually done um, there's the carpet uh, we could also leave the carpet there and do it on the inside we have a little bit of overlap there but that could be solved just by um, running running it up the wall a little bit and then we can even tack it down like that but more than likely we'll just um floor that in if we have enough of this left over we'll floor the dinette or we'll do a different tile setup um yeah oh and uh here's the door so like i said that's how the door actually works so there's the track and the new canvas just velcros to it so you have a complete seam um, the door's not fully closed so as you can tell there's a complete seam a little bit of light right here you can see just a little bit of light right there um, so I'll figure out something with that I'll probably just put a piece of foam uh, plating there but yeah there's our trailer uh, next step tomorrow we're gonna paint the cabinets and Hopefully by next Sunday, the floors will be in and we'll be camping. Thanks.